Okay, moving on with kitchen stuff. So we're gonna start over here. This is just miscellaneous kitchen stuff. So this is all stuff that doesn't really fall into pots and pans or dishes or utensils, you know, anything like that. So I think I can get started right over here. This cutting board, I don't use. I used it, you know, when I first got it and uh, then we left it here when we moved to Portland because I didn't want to deal with bringing another cutting board. And I found that I can live without it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Also, this little pig cutting board, super cute. I really only used it with the cheese and meat set that it came with. So I'm going to get rid of that. Pitcher, we're going to keep this because I like to make like iced tea and juice and stuff. Rolling pin, don't use it super often, but I do like having a rolling pan, rolling pin around for when I do need one. So we'll keep that. This is the butter dish. We're going to keep the butter dish because that's there's butter in it. Uh, this is where all my recipes go, like my recipe cards. And this used to be my mom's and she got rid of it. So now I use it. So recipes over here, blank note cards over here. Dixie cups. I don't think I need these. I'm just gonna, probably just gonna throw them away, really. These are the cutting boards that I actually use. I've used them a lot. I don't know if you can tell, but there's, you know, slice marks and stuff in them. Uh, they're just in here so that I can remember which one is for which. So I've used these quite a bit. These are the ones I took to Portland and everything. They're dishwasher safe. They're really nice. Keeping me's because I use those. Now moving on to Tupperware. So this is all the Tupperware we have, not a ton. This lid doesn't go to anything that I have and this one's kind of by itself. So I'm gonna get rid of these. And then the other ones I'm going to hold on to. So there's three of these, there's two squares, and then there's two rectangles. I don't use Tupperware a ton, but I do like having it for when I need it. And then this one is good for like a dressing or sauce, faces, some other stuff. So. This face we actually got in a, um, what are they called? You know, the fruit bouquets? Edible arrangements. So we got an edible, edible arrangement with this and I actually really like this face. This face I made for my wedding because Andrew and Alethea, it's their names and they made it, but look, it's like chipping a whole bunch. And I don't want to deal with trying to get this off so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I kind of want to keep both of these because these ones are good. Like they're all so different, you know what I mean? They're all different. This one's good for like big bouquets. This one's good for like really skinny bouquets. This one's good for like short stems. So I think, I think that's good. Then we have these that are good for like, I don't know, custard or creme brulee or something. I don't really know. Haven't used them. I think I'm going to get rid of them. Also, we have these two really cute trays. I think I'm going to keep the wood one. Get rid of this one. The, the cuter one <laughs> because the wood one's bigger and it's just more effective I don't know you can put more stuff on it and then we have two sets of fondue forks which are really cool like they have uh, animals on the tops here and I think they're yeah they're the same in both sets and we haven't opened them and I mean I got rid of my actual fondue set so I think I'm gonna get rid of these too these are more serving things like all of this is serving stuff this one we got for our wedding and I think actually came with candlesticks matching candlesticks i do want to keep one really nice you know serving bowl the other ones are red but i'm keep, gonna keep a nice one for special occasions this one i've used once it's like for snacks you can put like different things in each compartment but don't use it as well as this big one i don't use it either so i need to get rid of those uh if i want to serve something fancy i can put it on this tray if i want to in little or bowls it's fine um and then this one is from andrew's grandma and it's one of those like antique ones. So we'll keep that one too. Reaching the end here. So these are candy club containers. I kept them with the intention of using them to like store things, but I have so many jars. Why do I need all these? I don't. Can you get rid of them? And then I have a gravy boat, which would be good. Except I don't make gravy. So I'm probably gonna get rid of this unless Andrew says otherwise, but I have other things I can put it in. I can just put it in a regular bowl and use like a spoon. I have a, you know, like a measuring cup. One of the glass measuring cups with a little spout. I could use that. Then we got two of these like sugar and cream containers. And this one is actually going to match our kitchen more. My Nana just got us these at a garage sale for like 50 cents a piece and they're pretty nice. And then these ones came with all of our dishes. And I think I'm going to get rid of them. And then these... Uh, my mom gave us, they used to have a whole set of them, and I think the other one's broke or something. I'm gonna get rid of those too. Soda bottles, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, and Butterbeer from, you know, Harry Potter. All cool, but like, why am I keeping these? These are literally trash. Then this is a popsicle maker, and it doesn't work very well, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This I used, I think, one time, 
it's a Williams and Sonoma, so it's like a nice brand. It's a pocket pie mold, so you make little heart-shaped pies like that. And it's they're cute, but I used it one time and I've had it for so long and I don't know, they're kind of a lot of work, so I'm gonna get rid of it. These were our serving utensils for our wedding. And I'm probably gonna put this like with our wedding stuff. Sushi roll. Uh, I'm gonna keep this, this is to make sushi. This is really hard for me to get rid of. So this is a super cute little tea serving tray. So it has the tray with, you know, little handles. And it has a teapot and then four cups. And I wanna keep it so bad, but I've had it for at least five years. For a long time it was in a box in a hope chest for when I moved out. And then I moved out and it remained in that box. And then I finally took it out of the box and I still haven't used it. So I feel like I should probably get rid of it. And then this is just a basket. I think it's for picnic stuff, but I don't use baskets very often. Oh, okay, this is my Christmas stuff. Kiss the cook, little chef's hat. It's an apron. Oh yeah, it's like a little waist apron. I really need to wear aprons more because I get gross when I'm cooking. Like I get stuff all over my hands and then I want to wipe it on my shirt and then I can't, but. So we'll keep those two and then get rid of this basket. And then these guys are spray painted wine bottles that I used for my wedding for decorations, but you can tell a lot of the paint came off and I was going to like paint them a different color so they'd match my house and I don't think I'm ever gonna get around to it. And if I do, I'll just buy more wine. And then this was an old fish tank and it was really cheap, it was like five bucks. And so if I ever, maybe 10, maybe 10 for everything. But if I ever do decide to get another beta fish or whatever, I'll just buy a new tank. This one's old and grimy. It's seen better days and it's not very expensive so I'm gonna get rid of it. And look at, there's a little tartus in there. And just pretty sure that's what killed my fish. Cause not necessarily meant for fish tanks so he thinks I poisoned it, but getting rid of it. That's it for miscellaneous. So I still have like cookbooks and towels and stuff to go through, but we will get there in the next section. Just a quick overview. This is all I'm keeping. So from the vases right over here, to like the pitcher and the Tupperware. So Tupperware, pitcher, apron, hat, a couple things over here, tray, bowl, plate, sushi, dishes, or uh, utensils, cutting boards, recipe box, and three bases. And then I'm getting rid of quite a bit more, all the way from the Dixie cups at the end to the fish tank here. So fish tank, vases, popsicle, bowls, tea set, trays, cups, pie mold, gravy boat, serving trays, did I say that? Fondue forks, vase. Uh, Tupperware, bottles, basket, Dixie cups. Quite a bit that I got rid of. That's definitely over half, probably closer to two thirds. I found a couple other things that don't have a home either. So like they're duplicates, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Extra spatula, extra pair of tongs, a rubber brush, and then a soft brush. So I'm getting rid of these as well. Moving on to linens and stuff. So I've got a couple aprons and I don't know, I like this one. This one's better for everyday use. This one's more of like an antique. See, I don't know how much this can do. And then this Kiss the Cook hat. Uh, it's really cute and I wear it around Christmas time, but I don't think it fits my head very well. I think it's a little bit small. So I'll probably give it to one of my sisters. And this, I'm not sure what it's doing in the kitchen, but this is just like a rug. It's like a bath rug and probably going to put this one in our bathroom. Hold on to that, put it in the bathroom. We've got a bunch of towels. So these ones are just like white and gray. Uh, the very like more stiff fabric that probably isn't linty. But I also have all these ones. So I'm gonna get rid of these guys. Um, Cause they don't match my color scheme as well as these ones do. And there's a whole bunch of these. One, two. Oh wait, these ones are placemats. So there's placemats and then there's towels that match each other. So these four are placemats, and then there's one, two, three, four towels. So maybe I should keep these placemats and get rid of my black ones. Rainbow linen type towel, get rid of, doesn't match. These ones, black and red, and red and white, hold on to those. These ones are linty though, so it's kind of annoying, but they match my color scheme. Well, these ones do not, so I'm gonna get rid of these guys. I have another, another one of these somewhere. I don't know where the other one is. These are a piece of junk and they do not work very well. They're from Target and they worked okay when I first got them, but I need to get better ones. So I need to get better ones. So once I get better ones, I'm going to get rid of these. But for now, 
I gotta keep them because I gotta take stuff out of the oven still. So. All right, moving on to cookbooks. Here we go. So, most of these were given to me by my grandma or my mom, but I've accumulated quite a few. So this is Cooking for Two, it's a magazine. Um, I think I want to look through this and see if there's anything that sounds good and then I'll probably take a picture with my phone and then get rid of it. Martha Stewart magazines with recipes, get rid of those. Betty Crocker's 40th anniversary cookbook. I don't think I need this. I mean, like this is a classic one, but honestly, think that I can probably find most of these online. Electric bread maker, probably can find recipes online. I also have just the plain like French bread recipe written down somewhere else. Um, cooking up a storm, this is a teen cookbook. I'm gonna see if my sister want this, wants this because she's um, 10 and so she's getting into the age where she wants to cook probably. So I'm gonna see if she wants that. Hungry Girl, 200 under 200. This is one of my favorite cookbooks. Everything in this cookbook there's 200 recipes under 200 calories oh, that was it right there and oh my gosh look how many I have <laughs> bookmarked I was obsessed with this cookbook for a while so and this is probably a good one to keep great kitchen secrets um I'm gonna get rid of that one I never opened it here's another hungry girl one but I never I never opened up this one and this one I think this one has different numbers of calories it's not necessarily under 200 but yeah, never looked at this one. It was just the 200 under 200 one that I like, so I'll get rid of that. This one has Polly Perrett, who was in NCIS. Haven't looked at this one yet, but I just got it like a week ago, so I'm gonna go through that still. Year of Cozy, this one's super cute. So this one has like cozy recipes, crafts, homemade things, look at that. Grain-free doggy donuts with the cutest stinking corgi ever. I'm gonna keep this one for now. Cravings, just got this one in a pop sugar. And everything in here looks so good. Definitely keeping that. And then I think the rest of the rest of these I'm gonna get rid of. So microwave cooking. No. New dieters cookbook. Low calorie home cooking. No. Cooking and baking box. No. Crock pot meals. I can do this. Well it's frozen meals, so I think it's probably um crock pot meals and uh, frozen dinner, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then stuff from like restaurants, McDonald's McFlurry, Jack in the Box Oreo Cookie Shake, Cinnabon Ice Cape, Jamba Juice Cranberry Craze. So like it's pretty cool, but again, I could probably find these online. And I mean, I could probably find most of these things online, but these are the ones I actually like over here and I've used them before or would like to start using them. So I'm gonna get rid of these ones. I'm keeping four and then getting rid of this magazine once I look through it a little bit. I'm getting rid of one, two, this is three, four, because there's two in that, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus two magazines. All right, so I believe that completes the kitchen series. And if there is any more, then of course that will be in here. This kitchen one has been amazing. I've gotten rid of one, two, three, at least three full boxes of kitchen stuff. That's not, no, not even including dishes. I've gotten rid of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I've gotten rid of at least six full boxes of kitchen stuff, including dishes, utensils, pots and pans, appliances. So I'm really excited. My kitchen is so much clutter, so much more clutter free. I only have the things that I actually need and actually use. And I got rid of duplicates and it's coming along great. And I'm really excited to see how everything is organized. My kitchens are, or my counters are pretty much clutter free. It's fantastic. I'm trying to keep things organized now that I've actually gotten rid of a whole bunch of stuff. But if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I would love for you to stick around. But until next time, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.